So I've been watching a lot of Dweller videos recently, and something seemed a little strange to me. Why do we use horror characters that are already part of Minecraft? I mean, everyone remembers how terrifying it is to be chased by Herobrine, but what about some of those other entities? Like Entity 303, Null, Giant Alex, the list goes on. Because of this, I decided to make my own mod with five different creepypastas from Minecraft's lore. Now keep in mind, this mod is still in development, but with enough support, it might just get released one day. So if you want to play with these entities in your world, make sure to like, subscribe, and maybe one day I'll release the mod. Now right out of the gate, one of the biggest changes is that I added this really thick fog. One of the entities later in the mod definitely uses fog, so that's definitely gonna help out a bit. The next thing you'll probably notice next are these three entities right here. These are just like the stalking Herobrine. As soon as you look at them, they immediately disappear. But mine are a little more dangerous. You see, these guys will actually start hunting you, and if you don't look at them and they get close enough to you, they will actually kill you. Now we're going to start getting into the entities in this mod, and the first one I want to talk about is Entity 303. You see, Entity 303 doesn't just spawn in your world, you're going to get procedural chat messages that will slowly help him take control of you. He's going to every so often send you a message that says make a wish, and depending on what you ask for in that wish, he's going to give you different things. But depending on what you ask for when he eventually attacks you, it's going to make the boss fight a lot harder. So I'm going to go ahead and fight Entity 303 here just to show you kind of what happens in this fight. And you might be thinking, oh, he just gave you a diamond axe, it sounds great, but he actually downgrades your armor and weapons so this is actually a very tough fight because if it goes on long enough you're just gonna lose all of your good stuff oh my goodness that was scary I'm in full iron armor I started this fight in full netherite nope Oh my goodness, okay. Our next entity is a little less known. I didn't know about this guy before I started making this video. We are going to talk about the White Enderman. The White Enderman is said to be the keeper of the stronghold, but I'm not a good enough coder to know how to make him spawn in the stronghold. So what I simply did is I made it so every time you enter the stronghold, there's a chance that he will follow you out of it. So once you enter the stronghold, you get that achievement, and that achievement is kind of the death of you because it means that he can now randomly spawn anywhere in your world. And just like the lore says, the White Enderman is a one-shot. So I'm going to show you what a fight with the White Enderman will most likely look like. So every time you hit him, he randomly teleports in a random direction. You have no idea which way he goes. And despite what it looks like, you actually aren't dealing damage to him. The way to gracious, the way to deal damage to him is through a small chance of him teleporting you like that. Then he will take damage. But other than that, you're just—it's not look good for me. Uh, there he is. Okay. Oh, come on. The next entity we're going to talk about is Null. Now, all you have to do to be able to spawn this guy is wait for a thunderstorm. I'm here in a savanna because I just, I don't like the look of the rain particles, but we're going to, that's something for later. So, Null has a very low chance of spawning during a thunderstorm, but that chance is run every game tick. So, it's like a 0 .00, I think it's a 0.0025% chance every game tick, but, you know, game ticks happen every tw 20 times a second so that is pretty likely during an entire thunderstorm oh here we go so Noel is just spawned I have absolutely no idea where he is okay there's the zombie <gasps> gracious there he is okay um I'm on a tree now oh come on no no no, no. there's obsidian pillars okay this way Oh my goodness, I think, uh, um, ow, I don't, I don't know where he, there he is, ow, okay, ah, ah, ow, ow, I, no, I think he's this way, there he is, 
Um, I think he's this way? Oh, gracious, I can't see. It's so hard to see him. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright, that was kind of scary. So yeah, Null has several different attacks he can do. Uh, the first one is he'll spawn these obsidian pillars around you. I was going for kind of a, a slender feel for you, but it's not necessarily going to spawn you. Not necessarily going to happen in force, so I thought, I'll bring the force to you. He uh, summons lightning on you occasionally, so just got to watch out for that. And also, uh, he teleports you around randomly. It's just kind of dis to disorient you, because uh, once you see where Noel is, it's kind of hard for him to like sneak up on you. But if he's teleporting you around a ton, then it's just gonna make the fight a lot harder. And the final thing is he spawned to those minions. That's just kind of that'll happen occasionally. Just they're not super tough, but if you don't have super strong armor, then they'll probably be able to kill you. We're gonna go to looking for our next entity in the swamp, which is Giant Alex. So Giant Alex will spawn randomly in swamps, and uh, Giant Alex is really good at hiding in the fog. So basically, if you get too close to Giant Alex, she's gonna make the fog around you close in even farther. So it's gonna be even harder to see her, and she's only gonna pop up once you get close enough to her. As you can see, Giant Alex is right over there, but as soon as I get a little bit closer, the fog immediately covers her, so it's really- oh, that was kind of creepy, she was staring at me. Uh, as soon as you get too close, it's hard to see her, and as you can see, it's- you can make her a silhouette out, but it's gonna be really tough to get to her. Giant Alex is also a master at navigating this terrain, being able to break both leaves and grass very well, so- oh, I should probably- I should probably get moving, yeah. Giant Alex does a ton of damage, she's able to do, I think she does about 20 hearts of damage on a non-critical attack, so killing her is going to require some very strong stuff. Now you might be thinking cosmetic boot, you have a Riptide Trident, you can just run away, but she has other ways of catching you. But later that night, and every other night if I try to sleep, there's a very high likelihood my bed's just gonna break, and Giant Alex will spawn very nearby. Okay. Ow. No. creepypasta of the day, Green Steve. Believe it or not, my skin is actually not Green Steve. Uh, this is clearly an Emerald Steve. I'm not coping. Please believe me. No, basically, I wasn't actually choosing my skin based off Green Steve. I was, like, in eighth grade, and I just wanted a green skin, because green's my favorite color. And so I went into, like, Name MC, just looked up green skin, and the skin popped up, and I saw, ooh, green. Green Steve will randomly spawn in deserts, and as soon as he does, he's gonna start hunting you down. Green Steve only uses a bow on you, and he doesn't actually have very strong attacks, but he instead will teleport you into very dangerous situations that- oh my goodness, look at that, he's already spawned. So as you see, he only uses a bow on you, but he will spawn very dangerous situations. There's already- how many are there? Ah! There's already three of them. I'm gonna clearly have to fix this mod. If it's not clear, this mod is in beta. Uh, 
Why are there so many green steves? Okay, I'm gonna show the green steve fight in a place where, you know, I'm not gonna get jumped by a million of them, so it's a little more clear. Oh my goodness, okay. So green steve spawns in deserts, and, uh, he cannot be damaged in conventional ways. If you just hit him with a sword or an axe, it's not gonna deal any damage, despite it looking like it does, he's just gonna teleport away. The only way you can damage him is through kind of indirect means, so the flame from a bow can damage him, or if you have uh, fireworks with a crossbow, that gives like a half stun on him, so I would use one of those two methods to get him. Ow. In the meantime, Green Steve has four different attacks, obviously, or I guess five if you're including the shot from his bow. The first one, hang on, let me see if I can, yeah, he'll spawn you in this box full of creepers. That's the first one. The second one, if I can find it, here we go, spawn you on the drip leaf. The third one, if I can trigger it, well, the third one's this anvil trap, and the fourth is this TNT, if I can escape. He uses all four of these to kill you, and he's got a lot of health, so this is not going to be an easy fight. Bring Ender Pearls. It's going to make it so much nicer for you. Where did my water go? What? Ow. No, please. Oh my goodness. Come on. No. Slime, I swear you're taking the hit. I'm gonna murder you. That's what you get. Where do you go? in here. I think I got him. That was scary. Oh my goodness. That is the Ghost Stories mod. Uh, if we get enough support, I will... I've got an error in my face. Uh, if we get enough support on this, I will actually do my best to bring this mod to the public, but in the meantime, I've still got to bug fist a lot of things, like the Green Steve spawn rates, and there are other things I've got to work on, so in the meantime, make sure to like and subscribe, and maybe one day this mod will be in your hands.